hello everyone elizabeth welcome or welcome back to another video in today's video we're gonna be doing a book haul this is quite a collective book haul i figured i haven't really done any videos where i showed off let me just adjust this there we go i haven't really done too many videos where i actually showed off all of these books i think i attempted to film different vlogs and things where i might have shown some of these within this vlog but then the vlog never went up so i figured it'd be more fun to do an actual book haul because i went ham today i went to the thrift store looking for pants for my new job and i always you know wander over to the book section i always end up in the book section and i always end up coming home with at least like one book but usually i only find like a couple books but today i came back with a bag full and the other day i also not the other day but like yeah a few weeks ago a few weeks ago now i came back with a bag full of books and then i've just had some random books that i've gotten random places and i also went to barnes and noble the other day so i have a collective giant book haul to show you all the books that i've recently acquired i'm just gonna start anywhere we're not starting in any particular order these aren't organized these aren't like i just got these all over the place and i will just go through them so first we have leo tolstoy the kreutzer sonata and other short stories unabridged this is from a thrift store that i went to a couple weeks ago and yeah i'm interested in leo tolstoy so we have that as book number one then we have dream catcher by stephen king i actually found this one in a free little library and i was like i'm interested in reading stephen king so i was like i'll take this i didn't really know anything about it i just took it out of there so that's now a book that i own we have shadow of the self by brandon sanderson i found this would you believe it at a dollar tree so i'm excited because if you don't know this is part of the mistborn uh saga and this is part of mistborn era too and i don't own own besides now this one any of the mistborn era 2 books so i'm excited to have a copy of that one then we have in the kingdom of all tomorrows by stephen r lawhead i am just really interested in stephen r lawhead and i'm interested in reading his books and i found this one at the thrift store as well the same thrift store shall i mention and yeah i'm excited to actually like dive into his books because i did technically start taliesin but i haven't actually officially read any of his books um there's just so many books okay we'll go to this deck we have mark twain the innocent abroad this is a mass market slash falling apart edition which i didn't realize when i bought it at the thrift store i should have thought of that mass the mass marketness of this doesn't technically bother me that much although i usually despise mass markets but the biggest thing that really bothers me is this chunk out of the top i'm gonna have to take that or something so that it's less likely to be more breaking but yeah i'm interested in mark twain novels and this is one of them so we have that and then uh in the free little library i got a winter's promise and the missing of claire de lune by christelle davos mirror visitor books one and two i uh I saw these and they're like basically completely brand new. Yeah, pretty much like pretty nice copies. They're part of a series or something. And I've seen these around. I definitely have seen these. Um, I, I don't know if they were like on my mental TBR, but they definitely were at one point on my mental TBR. And then when I saw these in the free little library, I was like, heck yeah. And these covers, you can't tell me. These covers are not absolutely gorgeous. And this one. Like, I'm obsessed with the covers of these books. So, I'm excited to eventually one day get to those ones. Then we have The Husband Hunters by Andy Corsi. The American heiress who married into the British aristocracy. This I found at Dollar Tree. And I saw this cover and was like, 
have to have this book and I'm the kind of person that needs to look up a book and needs to look into the book read the back whatever I need to know what books I'm buying usually I try to buy only buy books that I know what they are I know the author I know the title I know something about it but when I saw this cover I was obsessed and was like I absolutely 100% need to have this book and so of course I can't just buy a book without looking at it so I did have to have a little look at it also if you didn't notice the top says a true account of the women who inspired downtown abbey like does that not sound utterly amazing to you because it does to me and i really want to read this i technically read like the first page or two and yeah basically i really want to read this one so badly this looks amazing i can't wait to get to this one that then we have I'm gonna do like I've gotten a bunch of books by one author that I'm really excited to read his books so I'm gonna do that as like a stack so then we have another Leo Tolstoy this is the greatest short stories and I thrifted this one at that same thrift store and this is just like a really cool edition like a really cool special edition with the gilded edges and the really cool cover so yeah this is just a really nice copy and then we have two Marie Strion books. So this one I got when I was on vacation. This is A King Without a Kingdom. This is like book eight or something in the series. And then when I was at Barnes & Noble the other day, I got The Iron King, which is book one in the series. So I can't wait to get to this guy. Um, this stuff looks amazing. So I'm excited to get to Marie Strion. It's like historical fiction, I believe, and I'm very excited for that. Then we have, this is the author that I'm super excited to get more into his work. I'm currently reading a book by him. But we have a bunch of Bernard Cornwell books, so let's go through that. First, we have The Last Kingdom. This one I got at Barnes & Noble. And yeah, I'm so excited. I really, 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 really really badly want to read the sharp books and i need sharp sticker in order to read them and i don't have sharp sticker and barnes and noble didn't have it so i had to content be content with the last kingdom which i am also very excited to read uh we have stonehenge this is yeah this is just another historical fiction and then we have sharp sword this one i got on my vacation stonehenge i got at the thrift store by the way this one I got on my vacation. It's a little beat up. This is what I thought originally was book one and then I realized it wasn't. But I started reading this on vacation and let's just say that I cannot stop thinking about this book and I want to just continue reading it. And I read like maybe like five pages or something. Like six pages. I really didn't read very much of this. But based off of that tiny bit that I read, I so badly want to continue but obviously, I'm not going to read book 10. I need book 1 first. So, I have to wait. But I'm, like, so impatient. And then I also got Waterloo. This one is a non-fiction. Also got this one, I think, on vacation. And then we have War of the Wolf. This one I found at the thrift store. And you can see this is part of the Last Kingdom series. I believe this is book 11 or 10. Somewhere in there. It's, like, a way later book. But when you see things at the thrift store, you have to pick them up. Especially when it's by an author that you're, like, specifically looking for and dying to read. So, we have this one. And the last Bernard Cornwell book we have is The Burning Land. I believe this is book eight. Book eight in the Lost Kingdom series. Um, something in there. It's somewhere within the Lost Kingdom series. But, yeah, those are all the Bernard Cornwell books. And probably the best book I've gotten so far in this entire haul, actually, is this absolutely stunning edition of the Count of Monte Cristo. I did splurge, and I bought this at Barnes & Noble. I just, my goal when I went to Barnes & Noble was to find Bernard Cornwell books, and I found one. And to find a nice edition of the Count of Monte Cristo, and... I succeeded because I found a really, really nice edition of Lucana Monte Cristo. This is the Penguin Classics edition. Penguin Classics, an imprint of Penguin Books. 
um i don't know if there's anything it's just a penguin classic but i am obsessed i have like a really ratchet mass market i don't even know if it's mass market but it really uh, it's not it's not mass market but it's just an addition it's like paperback and it's kind of falling apart so i am so excited to have a really nice copy because if you don't already know this is one of my favorite books of all time so i'm just so happy and excited to have this as a really nice addition and then moving on from there we had the things that i bought today so we have my bag of goodies from today and i'm gonna have to find somewhere to put these because <laughs> i'm already out of space so um that might be problematic gonna have to figure that one out i did buy a few gifts dvds for people these i didn't take the stickers off these because i literally just got home but i will attempt that now why do they have to put stickers on things see because now you ruin books when your stickers rip and then you have to try to like get the entire sticker off and it's ruining the cover i mean so far the cover hasn't actually been ripped or anything but the sticker itself is just an inconvenience well gonna have to call that one good enough but i got this book it's called an edwardian holiday um by john j goodall i just like i immediately saw this there's stickers on the back of this dumb thing as well brah what is with the stickers more stickers that are ripping thrift stores and they're dumb stickers like whatever i will figure that out later but this is what it looks like it's really cool it's basically just an art book it's literally just an art book and it is really really cool and it's edwardian so of course i love that for myself but it's basically just art you just flip through the book if i can even do that properly there's no words it's just art and it's really cool i love this and it's edwardian so of course i love that even more so that is the first item in here and i don't know oh yes here we go i did get myself one dvd and i'll just mention that super quick because i am a dvd collector and i saw this and um freaking so excited okay i'm just so excited because this is one of my favorite animated movies I got Emperor's New Groove. I don't own this one. Shocking, I know. But I finally own the Emperor's New Groove. I'm so excited. I am so excited to physically have this one. I should rewatch this sometime soon. There's even a Goodwill sticker underneath of the Reuse It sticker from whence I got this. I got all of these items at Reuse It because that is not all of them. Some of them I got at a consignment shop, but you you know what I mean. Anyways, so then I also got some books that reuse it. I got this one it is called The Viceroy's Daughter, The Lives of the Curzon Sisters. This just sounded really interesting. And also, I don't know if you will notice this, but the author is Andy Corsi which is the same author of American Heiress, which is the other book that I just hold for you. So I saw this author and I was like, that sounds really familiar. And I was like, wait, I think that's the same author as another book I have on my shelves. And so I looked it up just to be sure. And I was like, yep, it is. So now I have two of her books to read. And yeah, this just looks really interesting. I think this one's also a nonfiction. Um, but yeah, I think that it looks really interesting and then i found this book um this is called the mystery of mrs christie by marie benedict i've actually seen this book on the internet before and thought it looks kind of interesting um but i found this in a freaking thrift store and i was like what so this is basically about agatha christie um agatha christie's own history may be her greatest mystery of all and this is 
basically about Agatha Christie and this just looks this just looks amazing honestly and it's like a perfectly brand new edition of this book as well like what yeah so I'm excited about that one and then at the consignment shop I found a treasure trove of books I was kind of shocked but first I am debating on like whether I should keep this or give this as a Christmas gift to someone because I think I technically already own this book but I couldn't pass up leaving this book at the consignment shop because the books there were literally a dollar and I was like I think I have to not pass that up and this is the complete fairy tales of the Brothers Grimm the reason I want to keep this is because I actually think it is this cover it is beautiful and it's like this really nice paperback edition and the color is my favorite color it's my favorite color i love this cover like i i think i want to just keep this one but also i technically do have grim's fairy tales so maybe maybe i will just have two editions because this is just a beautiful edition in my opinion and i love that um then i found three books these all go together. Let's see if I can remove the sticker. I do appreciate the... I don't appreciate the removal of the cover. Wow, thanks. This literally just tore off some of the cover. But I got the Renegades, Supernova, and Arch Enemies by Melissa Mayer. So this is... Um, I don't know if there's three or four books. But this is like a superhero series um it might be a trilogy it might be four books i don't um know but i found these three in pretty decent condition this one's a little bit rough but that's fine but these are two these two are in like pretty perfect condition um this one's pretty decent as well but i'm excited because i've actually been wanting to read these this it's not a lot of books that are like popular right now on the internet that people talk about that i'm interested in but this is one of those ones that I've heard people talk about that I'm genuinely interested in. And it's about superheroes, so that interests me because I enjoy superhero things sometimes, like the MCU. So I figured a dollar each, that's coming with me. And then I also found this manga. Okay, so I don't read manga, but this one person that I watch on YouTube she talks about this manga and it's like one of her favorite mangas and when i literally saw this at the consignment shop i was like i kind of want to read this so we'll see if it's any good or if it's really terrible but i got orange by ishiko takano i don't know if i said that correctly but yeah I don't know if this is any good. It'll probably be not that great. I have no clue. But it was literally $2. So, can't really say no to that. And then I got this really, really nice, beautiful edition. That's really strange. I honestly didn't notice that till just now. But this is the world's best fairy tales. Let me just remove that but this is such cool like you can see the cover here and it's got this cool spine um it does have this weird thing going on because you can see these pages and these pages are just normal but then the top is literally gilded edges what is this i don't know but this is just the world's best fairy tales so i don't know exactly what fairy tales are in here i just literally someone is literally written in here that's unfortunate, but that's okay. Some of it looks like pencil, so some of it's probably erasable. Yeah, but I thought this one was interesting because we got more fairy tales, but it's like a whole bunch of random fairy tales. It's not just Grimm's fairy tales, I don't think. Alright guys, I did forget a few books that I meant to show you in this little book haul, but there's a few books that I almost forgot to show you and then I was sitting here and I was like, oh, I also bought these books or got these books recently. So, this I got, actually, 
let's yeah so this one i got at the thrift store with all the other books that i got a couple weeks ago and i yeah this is moby dick herman melville's moby dick and this is the barnes and noble paperback edition um this is actually in really good condition it's like kind of basically like almost brand new ish minus the sticker thing on the back here but yeah this is a nice really nice copy paperback copy of moby dick i am really intimidated to read this book i'm not gonna lie then i also during that same trip got another copy of Anne. this is just this random 70s copy and literally yeah this is from the 70s but if you don't already know this i collect different editions of anna green gables i have like about a million of them on the shelves over there so this is just contributing to that and then speaking of anne i got these two on my vacation so we have anne of avonlea and anne's house of dreams these are just like the normal editions of Anne. I have different editions that I guess would technically be considered, they're not special editions, they're like, I think they're technically British editions, but these are just like the normal editions that you get, like normally, um, like these are the popular editions or whatever you want to call it, I don't know. And then literally yesterday I was going around some different free little libraries and I put some books in one of them and I was trying to just see what they had. And they really didn't have much of anything in the slightest. But the one free little library did have this book and I started looking at it and sort of started reading the introduction. And I was like, this actually looks like it would be a useful book and that I would probably have a look at it and be interested. And it is called The Complete Book of Knitting by Barbara Abbey. So... It's this library copy, obviously, but I want to get into knitting at some point. So this just looked really good for knitting purposes. Oh, look, it has like a library stamping thing in here that you can put your library card in. That's fun. Um, so yeah, I am, this will hopefully be a useful book when I decide to start knitting. Um, but I did read, like, some of the introduction, and I was like, this actually looks pretty interesting. That is the last book I have to haul for you. I'm sure I have other books on my shelf that I've not shown you, but these are just the ones that I've gotten most recently, and I'm very excited for all of these books. I would say pretty much all of these books are unread books except for The Count of Monte Cristo, but basically the rest of these are all unread, so... This is all being added to my unread stack of books and the ditch just keeps growing. I made it to the point where it fit on my cart and now I made it to the point where it doesn't fit on my cart anymore, which is problematic. And now, now I'm going to have a lot of books that aren't going to fit anywhere because of all the books I bought today. So, which books am I most excited for out of this entire stack? Honestly, it is the Bernard Cornwell books and the Maurice Drion books. I'm just so excited. And the, and the Corsi books. I'm just so excited for those ones specifically. But I'm also just excited for them all. That's why I bought them. And I'm excited because they're all books that I recognize or mostly books that I recognize either the title, the author, like I love that because I feel like I usually just find random stuff that looks vaguely interesting but that I've never actually heard of it and yeah I found a bunch of stuff that I actually heard of which is so much fun. So I hope you enjoyed this little book haul, I don't know what this is but I hope you had fun going through all of my new books with me, I hope I get to these sometime soon. And I will see you in the next one. I hope you have your own fun reading adventure.